With me here is the Asus VivoBook Pro 14X OLED with the Intel Core i5 processor and the Asus VivoBook Pro 16X OLED with the Intel Core i7 processor and in this video, I'm going to compare both of them. The Asus VivoBook Pro series comes in four models and for the Intel models, you can choose the Intel Core i5 or Core i7 processor on both the Asus VivoBook Pro 14X and 16X. Now looking at the external features and design, the Asus VivoBook Pro 14X and 16X OLED laptops have the same design language. They have the same keyboard color which looks amazing and the same I.O. parts. The 16X OLED is slightly thicker at 18.99mm and it's also heavier at 1.95kg. Now moving to the keyboard which I love, when it comes to the keyboard size, the 16X OLED is bigger. It has a numeric keypad on the left. They both have a power button that doubles as the fingerprint scanner and this fingerprint scanner is fast and it unlocks the laptop instantly with one touch. Now moving down to the trackpad, the trackpad on the Asus VivoBook Pro 16X OLED is slightly taller. If you use the numeric keypad a lot, then I'll recommend the Asus VivoBook Pro 16X OLED. Or if you don't and you prefer your keyboard to be 60%, then the Asus VivoBook Pro 14X laptop is the one to pick. So the choice depends on you. Now moving to the display, the Asus VivoBook Pro 14X OLED has a 14-inch display while the display size of the 16X OLED, you guessed it, <laughs> is 16 inches. The resolution on both laptops, however, is different. The 14X OLED has a resolution of 2880 by 18 1800 pixels, meaning it's a 2.8K display, while the resolution on the 16X OLED is 3840 by 2400 pixels, making it a 4K display. The 14X OLED has a slightly brighter display at 600 nits, and it also has the HDR True Black 600 certification, while the 16X OLED HDR True Black certification is at 500. Another thing that is different between these two displays is the refresh rate. The 14X OLED has a refresh rate of 90 Hz, while the 16X OLED has a refresh rate of 60 Hz, and yes, you you can see the difference. It's also a version of the 16X with a 120Hz refresh rate but it comes to an IPS LCD panel. For similarities, both displays have a 100% DCI-P3 color gamut, 1 million to 1 contrast ratio, both displays are Pantone validated making them accurate for color grading and color correction, they both emit 70% less harmful blue light and both have a screen to body ratio of 86%. For the display, I think it boils down to the size you prefer. For me, I prefer the 14 inch display on the 14X and and a 90Hz refresh rate on that display. Everything is just smoother on the 14X display. Things like scrolling, switching between tabs is smoother on the 14X OLED. I also find the display of the 14X OLED to be more contrasty. When it comes to performance, you get slightly more boost with the 16X OLED. Both laptops come with the Intel Core i7 11370H processor or the Intel Core i5 11300H processor. With the 16X OLED, it gets a 50W dynamic boost while the 14X OLED gets a 40W dynamic boost. But then again, is the performance different large? Well, not really. So when it comes to performance and you want the best, the ASUS VivoBook Pro 16X OLED is slightly better. Now for gaming, you get almost the same out of these two laptops. The 14X OLED has the advantage because it has a 90Hz refresh rate and games just look better and smoother on the 14X OLED. So that's the one I will pick if I'm a gamer. When it comes to video editing, you get the same performance as well from both laptops. You also get 3 months of free Adobe Creative's Cloud All Apps membership, so that's a plus. Both laptops have 2 fans and 2 heat pipes. The chassis of the 16X OLED is bigger and it can handle heat better than the 14X OLED. All laptops have three different fan modes and if you want the best performance, you should change the fan modes to performance mode. Now, how loud are the fans when you push these laptops? Well, they're pretty loud, especially when you play games or run something very intensive on this laptop. It's nothing alarming, but I just wanted to put it out there. For the audio, they have two speakers toned by Hamakadon and the speaker on the 16X OLED sounds a bit louder, which shouldn't come as a surprise because it has a bigger chassis. Both laptops have Bluetooth 5 and Wi-Fi 6. Both laptops have a 720p webcam which looks decent in good lighting conditions and they both have dual microphones for clear audio. Now for the battery life, the 16X OLED has a bigger battery capacity at 96Wh while the 14X OLED has a 63Wh battery. From my usage, I got better battery life on the 16X OLED, both laptops support fast charging and both laptops come with a 120W power adapter. Now the price difference between the 14X OLED and the 16X OLED is around $200 for the same configuration and the one to pick should be based on size of display and battery life. I'm more of a 14 inch guy so I'm going to go with the 14X OLED because it's more portable. When it comes to performance, the 16X OLED is slightly better and can handle heat better than the 14X because of the size of the chassis but you won't notice it unless you really push these laptops to their max. So we've come to the end of this comparison, thank you for watching and I will see you guys with more content like this. Valor Reviews, signing out.